Today, we will have a look at the important features of a fish that belongs to the genus Echinus. Echinus is commonly called as the sucker fish or the remora. This is because of the presence of a structure, an adhesive structure which is present on the dorsal side of the head of this fish. And uh, this, is, this acts like a sucker and it helps the fish to attach to substrata. That is why this fish is known as the sucker fish. Now, it belongs to phylum chordata, subphylum vertebrata, division nathostomata, class osteichthys, superclass pieces and class osteichthys. So, it is a bony fish. It is a marine fish and it is inhabiting the warmer waters of tropical as well as subtropical seas. As you can see from the figure, it has got an elongated and fusiform tapering body with a depressed head. So, this is the head region of remora or echinis. You can see the eyes, the lateral eyes which are directed outward and downward. And uh, teeth are present on the jaws. The teeth are uh, villiform. Small teeth will be present on the jaws. The villiform teeth are small numerous crowded teeth and uh, they are present on the jaws. Now you can see the fin system. So we will go to the uh, fin system of this sucker fish where this is the posterior dorsal fin. This is the anal fin. So this is the posterior dorsal fin. This is the anal fin. This is the pectoral fin. This is the pelvic fin. Now what is this? This structure is called as the sucker. Sucker is actually a modified dorsal fin. So this is the first modified, uh, this is the first dorsal fin which is modified as a sucker and this is displaced to the summit of the head and uh, it looks like a flat oval adhesive disc and that is why it is called as a sucking disc and since it is present at the summit of the head it is called as the cephalic sucker. Now this sucker we will go to the detailed structure of the sucker the disc has got a median ridge as you can see here so this is the median ridge and a bilateral series of transverse plates so these are the bilateral series which can be seen on either side of the central ridge and these bilateral series of uh, raised transverse plates are called as lamellae. So, these are the lamellae and these lamellae are actually the modified fin rays of the dorsal fin because the dorsal fin is modified into the sucker and the fin will be having rays which are called as the fin rays and the fin rays are actually modified into these lamellae. And in between the lamellae you can see deep furrows. So, in between lamellae furrows are present and when this disc is applied to an object the lamellae will be raised and they create a series of vacuum chambers. So, th this will help them to adhere to that substratum and uh, it is not a substratum it will help to adhere to the object above it and this sucking disc actually works on the vacuum principle. So, with the help of this a sucker, the fish can attach itself to either a moving animal or object for a free ride. So, they usually spend their lives clinging to a host animal such as a whale, turtle, shark or a ray. So, this is a kind of mutualistic arrangement we can see that is this remora. So, here you can see numerous remoras attached to a shark's body. So, when the remora they move around the host they will get free ride where they will be getting uh, water, uh, food etc. And they move around on the host and during this ride they will remove the ectoparasites and loose flakes of skin from the host body. So that forms their food also and uh, the host is benefiting from this because it is getting rid of the ectoparasites and its uh, dead uh, skin flakes and this uh, remora it is getting food. And it is also getting protection which is provided by the shark because the shark is a ferocious animal. It is a predator. So, it is getting protection from other predators. And uh, 
uh, it also this remora also gets a constant flow of water across its gills because it is carried to many places along with the movement of the shark but sometimes this is a commensalism a commensalistic relationship also that is the shark may not know uh, maybe the shark is not at all benefited by this relation the remora attaches to the uh, shark's body the shark may not even know it and it may not be getting benefited but the remora is uh, of course benefited so it can also be a commensalism where one organism is benefited whereas the other is neither benefited nor harm there is no harm now uh, benefit to the shark so mostly it is commensalism and sometimes it can be a mutualistic relationship where the remora will feed on the ectoparasites of the host organism now the nutrition the diets of remora are composed primarily of the feces of the host and also the leftovers of the host food so whatever the host feeds the leftovers will be available to available to this remora now coming to reproduction the sexes are separate in males the sperms pass out uh, from the testis to the outside by a specially developed duct the eggs are released by the females and these eggs are fertilized externally so fertilization is external and then they are enclosed in a hard shell which protects the eggs from damage and dry and the eggs can still hatch after they have been washed onto the shore due to the protective shell that forms around them and you can see the different stages of development of a sucker fish now coming to some uh, morphological features the mouth of this fish it is terminal and it is somewhat upturned and you can see the lower jaw it is projecting a little uh, beyond the upper jaw so here you can see the lower jaw is a bit projecting beyond the upper jaw and the jaws bear willy form teeth which are small and numerous now coming to the caudal fin the caudal fin or the tail fin is homo circle homo circle means with uh, equal sized fin lobes so these are the fin lobes which are equal sized so these are some of the characteristics of sucker fish or remora